Ladies and gentlemen, do you want to get yourselves any Money in the Bank card really fast and really easily? Well, make sure you do stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. <music> So yes, you guys and gals heard me correctly there in the intro, I am going to be showing you how to get any money in the bank card really fast, really easily using no glitches, no hacks, no mods, none of that stuff, no cheating whatsoever. I am going to show you how to get any money in the bank card, whether it's the ones that we have in the money in the bank right now, whether that may be John Cena or The Fiend, or maybe you want to save up for the next tier whatever you guys want to do this simple trick or method is going to show you how to get any card very easily and uh, it's going to make money in the bank so much better so much more fun and you won't even really have to think when you're playing the games yes i'm not kidding you you guys will be able to just breathe through money in the bank games a lot faster and not only that but if you guys are struggling right now with money in the bank like say you can't make it to the top every single time or whatever the case may be well guess what this video is going to change your life around when it comes to playing the money in the bank and uh, it's just going to make it so much easier for you guys i promise you so make Make sure you do stick around you're not going to want to miss out on my trick that i will be going over here on how to make money in the bank easier and how you can get any card a lot faster so yeah stick around for that i do have some other things coming up in the video as well but before i get into doing this awesome stuff of course make sure if this video does go on to help you out or if you enjoy the video you know what to do smash the freaking like button as hard as you physically could with your favorite finishing maneuver and since drew mcintyre is the current lms card hit that like button with a freaking claymore kick drew mcintyre style and uh yeah that will be good you guys will completely destroy that like button and of course if you're new to the channel consider subscribing it would really mean so much to me if you could subscribe to the channel and don't forget to also turn on notifications for the channel as well set your notifications to receive all notifications of course and you'll be on board for some of the best super card content here on youtube but anyways guys we are going to start the super card action off right here on my girlfriend's account with her grand challenge reward pack she does have enough tickets for me to open one up so i figured you know what let's do it guys let's do it up here these grand challenge reward packs kind of suck this tier i feel like they really nerf these things lately because the grand challenge reward packs used to be really good but it seems like these days these packs are pretty dang terrible i don't have luck with them at all so uh yeah we'll see what happens here today we'll see if we can get my girlfriend a wrestlemania 36 card from this even though these packs are crap uh, so here we go with this guys let's see if she will get one here in three two one okay so no she does not get a wrestlemania 36 card she gets two primals and two ss19s so this was pretty dang crappy guys holy cow all right so she gets a SummerSlam 19 toughness here up first okay she gets a SummerSlam 19 charisma she gets a primal grand metallic all right and now for the final primal guys let's see who it's going to be it is seth freaking rollins and he looks pretty weird in this image i don't know that's a weird seth rollins image but it is what it is pretty crappy pack there guys and uh coming up next now i do want to get into opening up her giant platinum league pack here from the pvp let's see if we can get her a wrestlemania 36 card from this of course all right and uh yeah here we go with it guys are you ready let's see if this will be a waste of 2,000 league points all right so here we go with this guys in three two one all right so ooh, i don't know uh, she gets a Royal Rumble here, you know, and it's a female, so I guess that's not super terrible. Um, yeah, but not not too great there, guys. No WrestleMania 36 cards for her. Well, she only had a chance to get one anyways, but she didn't get a WrestleMania 36 card, and that's pretty crappy. Uh, she gets a Vanguard Batista, a Vanguard Braun Strowman here, a Vanguard Daniel Bryan, and of course, a Vanguard Brett the Hitman Hart. So, yeah, I mean, at least you got a female. I guess that's a good thing. That's a positive thing to look at there. But, the unfortunate thing, I just looked and it was not a pro for her. So, yeah, I don't know. Not super amazing there, but... Anyways, guys, before I get into talking about 
how to get any money in the bank card easily. There's something I want to mention here and talk about. So I do have a video coming up very soon here on the channel where I open up all five of these money in the bank themed packs. That is right. I cannot wait to upload that video for you guys. It's going to be quite awesome. And I do open up all five. So that gives me 10 new money in the bank cards that I didn't have before. Oh, maybe it won't be 10 new ones because I do have a chance to get some pros, but still I'm going to be getting some brand new money in the bank cards and that's pretty dang exciting. But anyways, guys, I am now back onto my account and let's get into talking about this little trick or method or whatever you want to call it guys and uh yeah let's uh let's go over this right now so what you guys want to do is you want to head into money in the bank and you guys want to go to edit deck all right and what you guys want to do is you want to fill this entire deck up with all cards of the same tier uh and why i say this is because when you do fill this deck up with all cards of the same tier what you're doing is you're actually balancing out your deck this deck setup that I have right now is not very good because, as you guys can see here, I have some Royal Rumble Pros. I have, you know, a WrestleMania 30, actually two WrestleMania 36 singles in here. One being this Triple H Quest card and the Triple H Spring card. So two singles there. And then I have, you know, the rest as WrestleMania 36 Pros. So this deck is pretty dang unbalanced. And that's going to screw me in certain games because you're not always guaranteed to get your best cards for the game. So if you have a deck like this where you have some Royal Rumble Pros, pros, some WrestleMania 36 pros, and say for that game you get six Royal Rumble pros, but you get closer to the top and you start facing WrestleMania 36 pros, well, you're going to be screwed. And that's why I say it's best if you use a balanced deck, because when you do use a balanced deck, your opponents are going to have the same cards as you. That's pretty much how it works. So if you have all Royal Rumble pros in your deck, you're going to be facing just all Royal Rumble pros or whatever, you know, and you won't have to worry about running into matches like this towards the top, you know, where you're facing a WrestleMania 36 pro when you only have Royal Rumble pros in your deck. So yeah, always use a balanced deck you guys don't have to use all royal rumble pros you don't even have to use pros at all you guys could use like all royal rumble singles you guys could use all shattered singles all shattered pros all wrestlemania 36 singles all wrestlemania 36 pros whatever you guys want to use it's completely up to you guys but make sure they're not mixed or matched at all you do not want to mix singles with pros or pros with singles and what makes this even easier is if you have like special cards or event cards you could use that just makes it so much easier because the stats are so much better, you know, but they do have to be the same tier, of course. Like, for example, this deck would be perfect if I had all WrestleMania 36 pros in my deck because, uh, you know, I have this Undertaker, which is a half heroic pro. I have this Edge, which is a half heroic pro. And I have this Big Show, that's a half heroic pro. And then I have the Scott Hall pro, which is stronger than a base WrestleMania 36 pro, you know? So if I had all 36 pros in here, that would be perfect because I have these uh, special cards or events cards and uh, they're stronger so yeah you could use those even though the stats are a lot higher there's still you know wrestlemania 36 pros at the end of the day and uh yeah you could use special cards you could use event cards and the game won't penalize you like you're not going to run into opponents that have you know half heroic pros just like you do or whatever or full heroic pros or even event pros to begin with they never throw you any type of special cards in money in the bank they only throw you base pros or base singles whatever you're using so that's something to keep in mind when setting up your deck use those special cards if you have them and um yeah let's actually rearrange this deck right now i think i have the most real rumble pros so that's what i'm gonna go with here for this deck setup so yeah i already have these ones in here all right so let's throw this hulk hogan pro in here let's get rid of this edge here and let's throw ricochet all right let's get big show out of here and let's throw in kane now let's get scott hall out of here now and let's replace him with Shawn michaels Cesaro, you gotta go, buddy. Sorry. And uh, we're gonna play replace you, actually, with a pro Royal Rumble Cesaro. Okay, Otis gotta go. So let's get rid of him quick. And actually, what sucks, guys, I'm out of Royal Rumble pros. I actually did get rid of a few Royal Rumble pros in the past because I didn't need them anymore. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to take these two singles out of here, but I don't think it's gonna hurt me too, too much. You know, even if you can't throw all cards of the same tier, just try to throw in as many as you could. If you're left with like two singles like I have, you know, it shouldn't really affect you too much. It might a little bit, but it shouldn't be a deal breaker. All right, guys, so I'm gonna end this video by playing 
playing a quick money in the bank match for you guys. I'm going to show you just how easy this really is. I'm not going to have to put too much thought into this since my deck is pretty balanced. This is what I was talking about before where I said you won't really have to think too much. You can kind of just breeze through the matches. It's just so easy when you're using a balanced deck. So yeah, watch how quickly guys I could just go right through this game. It's just going to be just so freaking easy peasy lemon squeezy. And let me know if you were already rocking a balanced deck before watching the video. If you were going with a deck that's balanced, then you're a smart cookie because this is the way to go. And uh, yeah, it's just super easy to win, guys. So going to breeze through this. And it was a perfect time to make this video for you guys again because, you know, we have double money in the bank contracts now. So yeah, it's just a really good time to be grinding money in the bank and, you know, taking advantage of playing money in the bank as much as you could. And I'm just really loving this double contract thing. This might actually get me playing money in the bank a lot more. I'm usually not too big of a fan of money in the bank, but, you know, since they're doubling up the contracts, it just makes this so much more enjoyable for me. So, yeah, let me know if you guys will be uh, grinding out money in the bank a lot more, too. I'd love to hear from each and every one of you guys, but look at that. Look at how quick we got through that game. We got a perfect plus 50 game. And another thing, guys, is you want to try to use higher tier cards in your deck if you could, because if you use lower tier cards, you're not going to get those plus 10 games, you know? I'm not really too sure the lowest you could go to still get plus 10 games, so you guys will just have to experiment and play around with it, but try to use higher tier cards if you have them. And like I said a billion times in this video already, make sure they are all the same and balanced. Pros have to be all pros. Singles have to be all singles, you know, but that's pretty much it here for the video. I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching. Remember if this, you know, helped you out or if you enjoyed it to smash the like button, claim or kick that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on notifications for the channel. And of course, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night. Catch y'all later. Take care. And of course, Peace out.